Thank you. I am uh, proposing uh, today a general introduction. Wrong start. So that's intended as a general introduction about the situation of uh, religion in uh, China. Yes. Uh, I represent today, I mean, I'm an academic sociologist of religion, but among other things, I am an editor and founder of Peter Winter, a daily magazine in eight languages covering uh, religious liberty and human rights issues in China. We can say Xi Jinping's China, but the problems even start with uh, Xi Jinping. Uh, actually, they started already with uh, President Mao Zedong, who uh, came to power and uh, started uh, a campaign to uh, eradicate uh, religion. Uh, Mao was a Marxist, and he wanted to eliminate religion altogether in China. But uh, he didn't believe uh, that should be done immediately for two reasons. Uh, number one, the violent action would uh, uh, destroy the international reputation of China. And number two, as an orthodox Marxist, uh, Mao believed that uh, religion would uh, uh, disappear spontaneously uh, when a Marxist uh, society would be fully implemented. So rather than uh, completely destroying uh, religion, uh, Mao tried to control it by recruiting fellow travelers and establishing uh, five uh, government-controlled uh, associations uh, the Protestant Tree Self Church, 54, the China Buddhist Association, 53, the China Islamic Association, 53, the China Taoist Association, 57, and what was originally called the, the China Catholic Lady Patriotic Committee and became the Catholic Patriotic Church, separated from the Vatican at least uh, until. Uh, 2018. Uh, this didn't work out. Religion uh, was still there and even growing, particularly in the sector of the house churches, uh, and meaning Protestant churches uh, not part of the CCP controlled three self church. And uh, this is one of the reasons, not the only one, that the Cultural Revolution was instigated by Mao. One of the aims of the Cultural Revolution was to completely destroy religion. And all religion disappeared in the decade 66-76, including the official government controlled forms of religion and at least half a million believers were killed. Mao died in 76, in 78, uh, then Xiaoping came to power, put an end to the Cultural Revolution, uh, realizing it was destroying uh, not only uh, Chinese culture, but uh, China in general, and potentially the regime itself. And because Deng wanted to improve relations with Western countries and start a period of reforming and opening, he decided to give some limited, emphasis on limited, freedom to religion with the so-called Document 19 of 1982. However, as we saw in the movie, in 1989, Tiananmen happened, and not only Tiananmen, but the fall of communism in Eastern Europe. And uh, the, the main idea of the movie was that uh, by uh, uh, the, in 
interpretation of the event of 1989 in Europe by CCP was that if you let religion prosper, religion will destroy communism. So if you want to say communism, you have to crack down on religion. So after Tiananmen, the situation became worse. In 1995, several movements were included in the list of Sejiao, uh, sometimes translated even cults, but it's really Heterodox teachings, uh, including Christian groups such as the Church of Mighty God, the Old Sphere Church, and uh, the Shouters. In 1999, the CCP clashed with Falun Gong and started a very severe persecution uh, against it. The terrorist attack of 9-11-2001 was also used to crack down on uh, Uyghur and other ethnic uh, Muslim minorities, uh, claiming falsely that a significant number of Muslims in China were supporting the terrorists, which was actually not true. Xi Jinping became the secretary of CCP in 2012, president of China in 2013. As you see from the famous cover of Time, some use neo-Maoism for Xi Jinping. Uh, this is not true economically. Uh, she is a communist, very different from Mao, but it's true in other areas. She is promoting a heavy cult of his own personality and sometimes Mao's, and is cracking down on religion in terms also uh, reminiscent of uh, Mao. If we study Xi's uh, pronouncement of uh, religion, uh, we uh, cannot avoid the conclusion that he uh, believes that uh, after Deng Xiaoping, uh, too much latitude was left to religion. And we are in danger uh, again in uh, China of uh, seeing religion uh, destroy the regime. So she took different measures. He instigated a stronger uh, crackdown uh, uh, against movements listed as Xie Zhao, such as the Church of Mighty God, uh, or Falun Gong, calling for their eradication like uh, tumor. Illegally 
as evidenced by dozens of cases about Falun Gong and the Church of Almighty God, and even a recent case about uh, Jehovah's Witnesses in Xinjiang, where uh, Peter Winter is uh, covering in these days. Uh, the Church of Almighty God is uh, actually the most persecuted group in uh, China from 2011 to date. Uh, the Church of Almighty God claims uh, 400,000 members have been arrested. And uh, as a scholar, I would say there is no independent confirmation of these figures, uh, but they are uh, believable because if you look at the Chinese media, Almost every week uh, you find that uh, hundred or several hundreds have been arrested on this or this other province. And there is also credible evidence, but Leo will talk about it, uh, of the use of torture against the members uh, of the Church of Almighty God, the member of other ban groups, extrajudicial killing and organ harvesting. Here you see, but I'm not going to read all of this, some uh, recent authoritative documents from uh, U.S. official bodies and uh, United Nations uh, High Commissioner on Human Rights uh, uh, denouncing the persecution uh, of the Church of Almighty God uh, in China. In fact, China is cracking down on all religions, not uh, only those listed as Sejiao. Uh, as we mentioned in the movie, even the official religions, the five CCP control religions, are now subject to limitations. Uh, particularly, uh, there is a strict enforcement of the prohibition for minors of 18 to enter places of worship. And even the officially sanctioned places of worship can be shut down or destroyed in case they allow minors of 18 to enter. Uh, Nurgul will talk about the repression of uh, Uyghurs. Uh, recently, the number of Uyghurs in the transformation to education camps has been estimated at 3 million. Uh, but uh, I, I would uh, let no goal uh, talk about the situation of the Uyghurs, but let me mention only uh, that China for several months said there are no camps. And then say yes, there are camps, but these camps are actually vocational schools. And uh, 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 Bitter Winter played the role in all this because we were the first uh, magazine internationally uh, to publish uh, uh, videos from inside the camps. Uh, the videos uh, not only prove that the camps exist, but also that uh, they are jails by any other names, they are not uh, uh, vocational schools. As I say, everybody suffers. We document it daily in bitter winter. Uh, Tibetans also suffer. Uh, there is a campaign of fake news against the Dalai Lama, and there is a sustained assault on Tibetan culture and language. Uh, recently, summer schools in monasteries uh, uh, teaching uh, Tibetan language to children were targeted. The movie already mentioned in the new regulation of 2017 came into force on February 1, 2018, and uh, this regulation's main aim, according to several legal scholars, uh, is not to target the Sejiao, they were already targeted before, but uh, in the terms of uh, American sociologist Yang Fenga, in China, there are three markets of religion. The red market, that's the authorized religion. The black market, that's the Sejiao, the band groups. And in the middle, there is a gray market. The house churches, the unofficial temples. And the main aim of the regulation is to tell those in the gray market they should either join the red market 
or be confined to the hell of the black market. Uh, unless they are a very, very small group, but even small groups sometimes are targeted. Uh, this crackdown is visual. I believe that Peter Winter uh, again played a role in documenting this uh, because uh, we have seen many uh, demolitions uh, of crosses uh, and churches and statues of Guanin, uh, Buddha or Lao Tzu. It's all there is a mosques of course, so there is a really a, a, a visual aspect of she's a crackdown on uh, religion. Uh, there was something about the Catholics before. Yes. Uh, as the movie also mentioned it, uh, the situation of the Catholic is a little bit peculiar because uh, Xi Jinping did realize uh, uh, the Catholics have their own state, that's the, the Vatican or the Holy See, uh, and, and that gives them some international leverage uh, that other groups do not have. So the strategy of Xi Jinping was to deal with the Vatican. But the Vatican-China deal signed in 2018, the number one is secret. Uh, Vatican just published a very nice book. I plan to review one day or the other, but there is no text of the agreement. It says it's very good, but uh, it doesn't explain what it's all about. And the second, the interpretation are clearly different. Uh, the Vatican Daily Newspaper uh, published an interview with the Cardinal in charge of China, Cardinal Filoni, saying there is no obligation for Catholics to join the Patriotic Association. Uh, but uh, Chinese publications said the opposite. After the agreement, Catholics should join the Patriotic Association. So that shows they signed an agreement, but things are still uh, uh, very much not clear. One of the effects uh, of uh, uh, the general crackdown, and particularly the repression of the Uyghurs, is to attract the attention on violation of human rights in China, probably much more than before. And also, what happened in the United States was unprecedented because groups uh, that don't like each other theologically and came together. This image is very significant. Is the press conference of March 4, 2019, launching something, the Coalition to Advance Religious Freedom in China. And you see in the center uh, Ambassador Brauba, President Trump's envoy for religious liberty. But if you look at the right, uh, uh, you see Pastor Bob Fu uh, together with two members of Church of Almighty God. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Pastor Bob Fu is an evangelical, and this theology is very different from uh, Church of Almighty God. And if you look on the left, in Tibet there have been traditionally problems between Buddhists and Muslims. But uh, you see uh, Tibetans uh, holding the pictures of Uyghur prisoners of conscience uh, and U Uyghurs holding the picture of Tibetan prisoners of conscience. So an unintended effect of Xi Jinping's policy is to put together all uh, these uh, uh, opponents. However, I don't believe, and that's my conclusion, Xi Jinping uh, uh, deeply cares uh, because uh, his uh, reading of the situation in China, if it's, uh, it would be nice to have a better international image of uh, human rights, uh, but uh, letting a religion develop freely is too dangerous. So for Xi Jinping, ultimately, unfortunately, it's more important uh, to keep cracking down on uh, religion uh, than to care about uh, China's very low uh, international image about human rights. So uh, I, I'm not very optimistic about the future, 
but uh, I believe that uh, at very least the conferences like this one are useful uh, to gather support for victims of persecution in China and also for the refugees uh, who uh, escape China and seek asylum in foreign countries. Thank you.